te kōhuru tanga o Porau Mata. Porau Mata was the son of Tangi Haere and Rākai Moiho. Tangi Haere, a great grandson of Porau Rangi, and his wife Rākai Moiho, started to move from Uawa to Wharepuma. Tangi Haere and his sons reached Wharepuma safely. On the arrival, they find there is already a tribe living there, Ngāti Rūnuku. Because of his nobility, Tangi Haere becomes the Rangatira. This is passed on to Puraumata. Ngāti Rūnuku are renowned for their fishing prowess. They provide fish for themselves and Puraumata and his whanau. When Puraumata's sons go to retrieve their family share of the catch, instead of taking a modest amount, they are greedy and take only the best parts of the fish, leaving the heads, tails, fish bones and belly fat to the We only want the best parts of the fish. We come from a noble chiefly line and deserve these choice parts and nothing less. Ngāti Rūnuku become angered by this inappropriate behaviour. Enraged, Ngāti Rūnuku come up with a plan to kill Pūrāmāta and his greedy sons. They invite Pūrāmāta and his sons to go fishing with them. Well, let's see. They prepare a punga house for Pūrāmāta and his sons to stay the night in. And early the next morning, Ngāti Rūnuku, Pūrāmāta and his sons head out to sea on their waka. Puraimata and his sons are unaware of what is about to happen. With the wink of an eye, the slaughter of Puraimata begins. Why were Puraimata and his sons killed? Puraimata and his sons uh, were killed because they didn't treat Ngāti Ruanuku in respectful ways and his sons took all the best parts of the fish and um, Ngāti Ruanuku were left feeling very aggrieved um, and so that was the reason that Praimata and his sons were murdered. They were murdered in a plot because people were unhappy. They felt that they had been hard done by and they wanted to remove the people that made them feel this way. What was the impact that the murder of Pramata and his sons had on Ngāti Purau? The impact that this murder had on Ngāti Purau, I believe, was that it sent ripples right throughout Ngāti Purau. And that's because Pramata was a rangatira and he had daughters and after his murder, those daughters were dispersed. Um, one of his daughters, um, Te Atakura, she went up to the Te Araroa area and his other daughters, Tafipari, she went down to Tolaga Bay and then of course there was Materoa. Now of those daughters, two of the daughters had sons who they were raised with uh, the, the purpose of taking utu of this murder and so um, because of the murder, we had um, two Whakaere order from Te Atakura, who we all know was one of the most um, well-known warriors in Ngāti Pūrau history. And then of course we also had Pākānui from Matiroa's side. And both of these men took vengeance for their, that murder of Pūrau Mata. And so the murder um, sent ripples right through our history and it's really defined um, us as a people, I believe. What is the lesson that we can learn from this Paki Waitara? I think the lessons that we can take from this Paki Waitara um, for our lives today are that we need to make sure that we treat people in ways that are respectful and in ways that we want to be treated ourselves. So it comes back to that well-known lesson of treat
treat others as you wish to be treated. And I think that's the most important lesson that we can take from this Pakiwaitara about Te Kohuritanga o Praemata.